Um, yeah, it was an unbelievably tight game. Um, great occasion, like it's you know, like it's amazing out there, you know, in terms of the atmosphere and everything else. So, um, dressing room there is pretty good now, as you can imagine, um, because it means so much to you know the players, everyone that's worked incredibly hard to get to this point. Um, and so, so close, isn't it? Unbelievably close. Um, start the game really well, and you know. Lots of really positive things in the first half. Um, on the flip side, of that the second half we just, you know, even though we come up with some good turnovers um, in our end of the field, we just, you know, we didn't probably exit that well. So it just means that we're, you know, feeding La Rochelle, you know, so they kept a lot of possession territory in the second <laughs> half. So um, and it's tight margins. They managed to get over. You know, they managed to get over the try line at the end of the game this time last year. If you remember, you know, we're in that situation this year. We can't get over the line, so it's, that's how close it is. It's come down to the finest of margins on both days, um, and unfortunately on both sides, of it, we just haven't been quite good enough to, to do it. Um, but you know, just need to for our guys stay at it. You know, it's, keep believing that they'll get there. Um, but for now, you just gotta, you know, that's it. This season, it's it's done. Um, our group changes now you know so that's the way it happens at the end of every season so we have some players that will move on so um celebrate their time in the next little while um and then we'll go again but um yeah unbelievably tight game tightest of margins you know there's things in it you know like guys will look back with regrets similar to last year you look back with regrets but unfortunately just not to be today um but yeah, the, the big thing is, you know, it's, it's not to lose heart. Like, is, and we're, we're so close to it and we're up against a very, very good team there. You think after the first half, a lot of tactics put in, did the fatigue begin to tell quite soon into the second half? Um, yeah, like, it's, it's probably just more that sustained pressure where, again, like, is it going to just go back to some of those exits? Maybe just not quite in our terms. Um, you know, it just didn't, didn't quite go for us, unfortunately. Um, but again, we're up against a good team. Um, you know, you've got to give them a huge amount of credit, like the way they, they stuck at it after the start that they had, you know, and the character that they showed to come back. So um, you've got to give them a huge amount of credit. Um, and yeah, it's devastating really, isn't it? Like, you know, so, you know, we've lent to the older people around here. Like we went through that final where we came back from 16 points down in the past. Um, so we know that, what I know what that feeling of <laughs> jubilation or, you know, is like. Um, but now we're I'm experiencing the other side of it where you've obviously <coughs> the players have built a big lead. Um you know, was it what twenty three seven, you know, in, in the first half. Um <coughs> if, you know, we get, they get they get in for a try before half time, you know, a couple of things there. So you know, there was lots of bits like that in the game. Um but that's what you're gonna get. It's top end of the game, isn't it? That we're at, operating at here. Um up against good team, well drilled, um, very good individual players. Um, you know, with a slightly different model, as you know. So, like, the top top fourteen teams, you know, in terms of where they pull players from all around the globe, and um, you know, we've a bunch of guys that come through the system here for the most part, and just got to stay at it. You know, just got to stay at it. Keep believing what they do, and working hard every day. Keep pushing each other along, um, and they'll be back. Gary, fans came out today and produced a phenomenal atmosphere. How disappointed is it to not be able to reward them with wins today? Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for uh, everyone that showed up today. And I mean, if we could hear and feel them out there, and certainly grateful for everyone that's supported us all year, right from the off. Um, they, mean a, they mean a lot to us, the supporters. Um, our family that would have been here, our friends that would have been here. Um, so you do whatever you can to, to make them proud. Um, and I think we, we can, I mean, we know we, we gave it everything. Um, but I guess it's the, the beauty and cruelty of sport uh, that, yeah, we fell on the wrong side of the result. Um, but yeah, we're, as I said, unbelievably, I know I am and everyone in, in the change room there unbelievably grateful uh, of, of all the supporters that, that got behind us and um, yeah they mean, mean a huge amount to us. And you know it seemed like a kind of relentless onslaught in the <coughs> half. Why do you think Leicester struggled to actually get out of there and 
Um, well, there's a few things like, you know, we kicked the ball out in full a couple of times, you know, that was as an example. Um, you know, we're over the ball, like we're not getting poached penalty turnovers, so we're then we're having to exit and we just don't manage some of those exits particularly well. Um, you know, as I said, like Larry Shell are a good team, you know, so they, they kept ball well. Um, that's <laughs> but we, we do manage to get down the other end of the field eventually. Um, that's the bit, you know, that we just really need to learn from just managing those last 10 minutes of the games, you know, similar obviously last week we were <coughs> stuck in the last 10 minutes of a game. Um, it's just the finest of margins, you know, so um, frustrating. Yeah, the players look back now and just there was things within the game that we could have done a little bit better, but anyway, that's just the nature of sport at the top end, isn't it? It comes down to such fine margins. Um, as Gary said, it's, it's cruel, you know, but it's you've one dressing room that's there's devastation, the other from insulation, and you know, like it's come down to one point in between, you know, it's like, and that's how different the views are. Um, you know, like it's, yeah, like what, what else can you say? It's it's the finest, the finest of margins. Um, and the frustrating thing is, again, like, you know, we go behind, but again, we get that opportunity to, to win the game and we just can't quite do it, unfortunately. Um, that's the bit, that's the bit that we need to get better at. Um, but that's not for today now, that's a different day's conversation. Um, you know, you just it's celebrate the occasion for what it is. Two great teams, I think, going at it. Um, and, you know, we've, we're very appreciative of, as Gary touched on, you know, the people have turned out today. And, you know, you've got to applaud La Rochelle for, you know, dealing with that part of the game and dealing with coming from whatever it was, 17 points behind early on. And, 23-7 then slightly later on as well. So, um, <coughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's a pretty sick feeling in the dressing room at the moment. Well, Gary, uh, you Um, yeah, like you know, James is a great player for us, hugely influential. Um, and yeah, like he went off, it was you know pretty unlucky uh, incident that happened in the game. And yeah, but to win tournaments, you know, you need to be able to deal with some of these disruptions at different stages. Um, and yeah, James, I thought was outstanding in the first thirty minutes, led the group well. Um, would have been nice to have him on for a little bit longer, but unfortunately, that's just the way games go. You've got to be able to deal with these disruptions. Hey, Liam, how's it going? Uh, just two for me, just the, the red card call at the end, just your thoughts on that. Um, and then the other one was just Ross Byrne opting to go for the line as well. Maybe I might throw that one to you, Gary, as well, that discussion on the end, not to go for it, for the six as well. Maybe just throw it, those two questions on the three. Um, I mean, with regards to Ross, it's always an option there. and. I'd have 100% trust in, in his feeling on the spot. Um, and I mean, you've seen him take in big games, get kicks like there from there. And um, so I, I trust his gut on that. Thing. <coughs> and yeah, we went, we backed ourselves with the decision we made. Just a red card. Um, oh, yeah, I have to look back at it again in more detail. Like, you know, it's you got to just trust the referee's call on the day. Um, you know, it's at the end of the game, yeah. I, I don't know. I'll have to look back on it exactly. But I didn't dwell too much in terms of studying the footage. It was more, okay, let's try and put a plan together. You know, before he, the card came out, you know, so um, I was getting a sense from the conversation that we needed to make an alternative plan. So I was more focused on that at the time. Both of you, um, I think before the game, Gary said that you were expecting a time back. I mean, the first 40 minutes, or the 57 points, five tries. What does it feel like at half-time? Um, I, I thought the guys were okay at half-time, yeah. Uh, good physical battle. Um, <coughs> and we, we were trying to do more of the same in the second half. We just weren't quite accurate enough at different stages. So, um, And again, like you got to give credit to the opponents that win the game. So um, it's come down, as I said, the finest of margins. Um, it's after such a good start. It's it's you know we're we're bitterly disappointed we couldn't push on and you know finish the job and you know again like 
last year stung, this year will sting as well. Um, because it's probably the flip side, whereas the last year Larry Scheller scoring right to death, you know, we have the opportunity to score right to death and we can't quite nail that opportunity. So the big thing is now though, like it's, you know, the, the group, as I said, changes, you know, like you've, the likes of a Stewart that's moved on, you have some senior players, like to Johnny, Dave Carney, um, Nick McCarthy, a few players have retired around the year, James Tracy, Charlie Ryan, um, some academy players will, will finish at the end of the season as well, Ty McElroy. Um, so those guys move on and, you know, like players go on holidays. Um, there will be a, a change of focus now because it's World Cup kicks into gear now. Um, so at some point the squad gets picked for that and you're, you're watching the World Cup and you're seeing how our guys get on. And, um, in time, then you start to make a new plan. We've got a different group. Um, I think when we see everyone back together again, they'll be highly motivated to go again. Um, because it's so tight, but like the big thing is, you just got to keep putting yourself in that situation. You know, there's lots of commentary, you know, always doing pieces outside. Um, you know, <laughs> like this, you know, the the fifth star piece, like everyone's, you know, the fifth star. But like I was around <laughs> in the days where we we're trying to get one star, you know, and um, as a young player, I remember Mike Ruddock in the uh, old you know, prefab building. In, uh, attached to Wesley for anyone who's around back in those days and this is 1997 so I'm just out of school and Mike Ruddock Reese Ruddock's father is presenting to us the European Cup final which was between I guess Breve against Leicester and um, you know like you're less Eric like could you ever be part of that that's the question you're asking yourselves so you think 1997 um you know, and that's why I go back to that 2003 game, you know, against Perpignan where we're in a semi-final and then you're like thinking, this is our time and you lose the semi-final and then you're asking yourself, will you ever get to this stage again? Um, but eventually we do in 2009. But like there was so much, like in there were certain players that have been through much, so much pain um, not getting to finals. Like, so we've got young players in the group at the moment that are experiencing what that pain is like. Um, you know, the good news is they won, we won in 2009, 11, 12, 18, but like it does seem like a long time away. But I do remember the days when it was like, will we ever, ever do this? Um, so that's what I mean about the players and the belief and sticking with it. And it's so bloody hard. Like there's, there's teams, you know, gathering all around Europe and South African teams now as well. Um, <coughs> and they're assembling squads that are highly motivated. You know, top end players, you know, huge resources, all the rest, you know what I mean? And like we're there, we're like it's it's so close. Um and that's why it's so upsetting. Like it's so upsetting today. Um but I have a lot of faith in some of the young guys that are coming through and some of the leaders and some of the quality of the people that are there. Um and they'll be back, be back, you know. Um and you just gotta keep putting yourself in that situation time and time again. And um someday we will get over the line. Um and you know it'll be a it'll be a special day.